Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're gonna like it already. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload. And if you already are subscribed, hey babies, welcome back. I am a spiritual mentor. All of my content here is about healing you and helping you reach your highest self. I hope everyone is feeling incredible today. I hope you guys are in a really, really good, pumped up mood. I have finally rescheduled the gather event that's going to be taking place in Dallas, Texas. So if you guys are interested in pulling up on me, the event is going to be May 27th. It is a free event, um, but I am going to be bringing some custom jewelry and some pre-rolls and some things like that. Um, so definitely go ahead and check out the community um, tab. I'm going to have the invitation there and the link to RSVP. Last time I was just posting a flyer. I was not RSVPing and I had to reschedule because of the weather and I literally just had to post it and hope that everybody saw it. So this time I'm doing an RSVP. So if there are any changes, I'll be able to email you guys directly and let y'all know what's going on. But yes, I hope everybody is able to pull up that wants to pull up. Um, I'm really, really excited for this and I'm just, you know, ready to connect with you guys. So yeah, you guys can always check the link in the description box to sign up and reserve your spot with me to the trip to Costa Rica. Um, you can also book mentorships, private readings, all of that at the link in the description box. All right, guys. So today we're doing a pick a card about what are you running from that is a question that we are asking um i believe someone suggested this on one of my youtube lives so let's get into this i have about six cards pulled for everybody we're going to do a lot of downloads a lot of channel messages a few cards though um but let's go ahead and get into it i'm going to ring this throat chakra sound bowl um take a few deep breaths in and out then we're going to show you guys the card selection you'll have three piles and you'll be able to choose which pile resonates with you then go ahead and check for your timestamp that's going to be at the top of the description box so let's Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, group one, let's go ahead and get into your reading. What are you running from? So we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. We have the nine of cups and we have the knight of pentacles. 10 of pentacles in reverse, the nine of cups and the knight of pentacles. Let's just start there um, before we move any further. So with this 10 of pentacles in reverse, the nine of cups and the knight of pentacles. We have a lot of energies here about money, success, um, security, feeling grounded, feeling like you're on a solid foundation, um, feeling safe, you know, feeling like you really prepared a space that is, you know, securing you. So I feel like a lot of you guys could possibly be having a little bit of um, root chakra trouble. You know, your root chakra is about you being grounded, about you being, you know, connected to God, about you being connected to everything around you. Um, um, a lot of humility steps into the root chakra and humility is something that should make us feel good. It should make us feel good that we are a small part of a very, very big universe. You know, it should kind of take a little bit of the pressure off of us, you know, with your root chakra balanced you have that pressure lifted off of you. You don't feel like you have to, you know, work super, super hard and be burnt out and be overwhelmed and stress yourself beyond belief to step into success. You know that you are success because God has put you here. You are here for a reason. Like every person that is born does not end up, you know, becoming an adult. Every adult doesn't end up becoming, you know, an elderly person. Every being that is conceived doesn't even end up coming to terms. So if you are here, if you are watching this video, you were picked to be here. Um, and there is something very special and very specific for you to be doing here. And when you have done that, you will no longer be here. But if you are here right now, clearly there is work to be done. And your root chakra is about being grounded in that, being grounded in your connection to nature, your connection to God, um, the fact that your security lies within who you are and who created you, not in the career or, you know, anything like that. It's about the security we get from that, you know, spiritual connection to everything around us. Um, with this 10 of pentacles in reverse, you know, this is talking about losing money, you know, not really 
getting back a return possibly. I feel like if some of you guys maybe invested um, in a business or you moved and thought everything was going to work out and isn't working out or you felt like something was going to be your next step into, you know, a bag and it did not happen that way. Um, if some of you have been, you know, on a journey of financial, you know, success and now you've been in a backsliding kind of space where you're still trying to catch up. Um, I feel like this is happening to really make you focus on what you're putting your your faith in, what you're putting your belief in, what you're putting your trust in. And we want to make sure that we're putting our trust in a space that is going to be able to carry it. You know, money is not something that's always going to come into our life, whether we need it or not. There's a lot of people that need a lot of money and they don't have it and might not get it. You know, like money is not something that's just you know, at our door every single day. Just like healthy relationships aren't necessarily something that's at our door every single day, you know? So the things that we want in this life, we have to work for these things. Um, we can't just, you know, sit around and expect that we're just gonna, you know, get the money even if we need it. So doing whatever we can for the money, eat no matter how hard you're working, is not always going to give you the security that you're looking for. It's not always going to give you the release that you're looking for because there's always going to be a bill. There's always going to be something to do. There's always going to be a good day, a bad day. So it's never where you want to put all of your, you know, your determining factors between if you're happy or not. If you're only happy when you're financially successful, you are not going to be happy every day. Even the billionaires that we know lose billions of dollars sometimes. Like it doesn't matter how much money somebody has. We all experience the influx of making a lot, spending a lot, making a lot, losing a lot. We always we all experience that when we are, you know, working and, you know, trying to better ourselves, um, especially when you are in a space where your money, your success is your happiness. Some of you guys could even be uncomfortable, you know, being with yourself. And when you are with yourself, you just immediately go to work, immediately try to busy yourself. We have flute. This says disappointment in a friend or a lover. So I feel like some of you guys could have been let down by someone that you really loved. Um, and you know, that could be why you maybe started to put your focus on your work. Maybe you feel like relationships, friendships, connections is a waste of my energy. I'm gonna put all of my energy into this bag and making this money. But we have the nine of cups. You know, this is about satisfaction, emotional fulfillment, love, happiness, you know, having the things that you need emotionally in your life. So I feel like you guys are in a really interesting space. Some of you have a lot of issues going on financially, but your relationships could be soaring, your relationships could be doing very well, or you have an opportunity to step into some really beautiful things in relationships. Um, the Knight of Pentacles also talks about focus, dedication, being mindful of the decisions you make and not letting anything distract you from where you are. If you have a loss, if you have a bad day, if you have you know something that doesn't work out in your favor, group one, it definitely doesn't mean that this is the beginning of the end. It definitely doesn't mean that you're never going to be able to shake back. So I feel like some of you guys could definitely be, um, you know, just really, really, really afraid of being in spaces like this, like being uncomfortable, not having it, not knowing where it's coming from could be something that's really, 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 really hard for you guys. So I feel like you're kind of being met at the front door with, you know, the thing that makes you the most afraid, the thing that, you know, makes you the most frustrated, not being secure, not being settled, not being grounded, feeling like you're over here and then you're over here and then you're over here. Um, and again, this Knight of Pentacles is just reminding you to stay focused. It's reminding you that you are very determined, you're very dedicated, and you know good and well, if you have the pieces of a puzzle, you can put the puzzle together, no problem. But this is bigger than that. This is bigger than, you know, problem solving. It's big, bigger than conflict resolution. You know, I feel like you guys have definitely kind of, some of us have been hurt on a very emotional, very spiritual, very deep level. And maybe you were trying to repair that hurt with success and you're realizing like, okay, I cannot succeed my way out of this heartbreak or this pain or this frustration. Even all the success you have, you still have the burden of, you know, whatever you lost or the thing that you really, really, really want in life. Um, we also have ear, which says good news, good news. So I feel like you guys are going to have an opportunity that's um, gonna be, you know, coming in your life. Um, soon, you know, I feel like you guys are going to have, you know, some good news that turns things around for you, but don't rely on the good news to turn things around. You have the ability to turn things around and don't be in a space where you make yourself just sit there in despair until something good happens. You know how many people have sat in despair for years, for years, for their entire life, some of them waiting on something good to happen. And 
it never happens or it does happen and you get to the point where you don't recognize it because you're not always going to be in a space where you want something and you're so 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 down until you get it and it always comes through that's not always going to happen there could be something that you want that you're going to want for the rest of your life and you're never going to get it and you're going to have to be okay without it you're going to have to find joy in life without it because no one thing should be your joy in life. Life is the joy of life that we get to be here, that we get to exist, that we get to have another day to, you know, be in this experience. That's the joy of life. And maybe that's not always such a good joy, but I mean, it is a gift and we want to make the most of it, period. And you do not want to put all of your, um, I keep hearing the scripture, you know, don't cast your pearls among swine. You don't want to put, you know, the things that are the most precious to you in the hands of an energy that is not consistent in the hands of a person that is not consistent you don't want to do that to the gifts that you have to your to your faith you know your belief in something is a gift when you believe something and you're hopeful like that is such a gift to have that gift of faith and that gift of belief and you guys have that but you want to make sure you're putting it in the right places also well lastly we have self-love let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child i long to take care of myself like never before let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child i long to take care of myself like never before so here with this self-love energy you know connecting to your inner child figuring out what your inner child needs feeling figuring out how you can support your inner child and uplift your inner child is really going to be key um and just remembering the things that once brought you peace remembering the things that once brought you happiness i feel like some of you guys are you know water signs or you have a lot of water in your chart or you're just very emotional you're very vulnerable um and you know you're very sensitive some of you guys can be empaths too so you know it's easy for you to be like fuck love and fuck emotions and fuck these feelings i'm gonna dedicate my energy to this and focus on this but the things that you want in life are the things you're supposed to have and if you have a true desire for a certain love or a certain relationship in your life even if you say oh it's too hard fuck it i don't want it anymore you still want it your spirit still wants it your spirit still needs it and you know you're going to have to get it you're gonna have to have it in your life and you won't be satisfied unless you do have it and um you know that looks different for everybody you know everybody's finish line looks different um but i feel like you guys are you know definitely in a space where it's time for you to you know kind of recognize where you're putting your faith you know what is the determining factor of your success um and you know making sure that you're spending a lot of time caring for you and pouring into you like you guys really have the chance to you know turn this current space into a transformation I feel like it's really going to be beneficial for you guys. I didn't even talk about y'all's crystals. So this is black tourmaline. You know, black tourmaline is a crystal of protection, um, a crystal of, you know, opening you to spiritual energies that are going to bring you security, that are going to bring you the things that you need. Um, black tourmaline is great if you are dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, if you're in a space where you have issues on your job or, you know, issues, you know, having certain conversations. Black tourmaline is great to bring you the safety, the protection and the security that you need. Need. And with this root chakra, you know, imbalance that you guys might have, connecting with some black tourmaline would be great. I would also recommend doing some grounding work, spending some time in nature, spending some time outside, and literally thinking about the things that bring you joy, thinking about the things that you've allowed to, you know, knock you down or set you back. And asking yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth losing your joy over losing the job? Is it worth losing your peace over losing the job? And life is too short to be so fucked up about stuff that we don't have, guys. Seriously, you could fucking die tomorrow. You could die tonight. I could fucking die tomorrow night or tomorrow and you do not want to spend your last days your last moments your last years or decades being sad being down being depressed about not having things and not meeting certain deadlines or certain quotas when you have so much love and opportunity for love and new beginnings around you so make the most of life i feel like you guys have a lot of things to be grateful for there's more things to be grateful for on the way but you know really embrace this cycle that you guys are in and you know really spend this time learning from it and you know letting it grow you so yes group one my black tourmaline group that's what i have for you guys if this reading resonated with you let me know down below in the comment section also if you guys want to book private readings with me mentorships um see what i have going on check out the community tab and also the description box to book those readings and things like that um but yes, I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys for being here and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless. All right, group two, let's get into your tea. My selenite group. 
So selenite is great for mental clarity. And of course, we have delusion. Selenite is great for mental clarity, um, you know, releasing stress, helping you make sense of what you've been seeing and experiencing. Selenite is also great for boosting the power, energy, vibe, capacity um, of any type of crystal that you're going to be working with. So you can pair selenite with any crystal to boost the frequency and, you know, power source of that crystal. So let's go ahead and get into the cards that we have for you guys. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have strength. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and we have strength. So let's get into it, guys. Um, definitely feel with this Ace of Pentacles, you know. I feel like you guys are, you know, being brought to a space. And remember, this is where you're running from. I feel like you guys are being brought to a space where you're just going to see that maybe you're not as ready as you thought you were to, you know, step into a certain space. Um, with this Nine of Pentacles, you know, this talks about financial independence, taking very good care of yourself financially, you know, treating yourself, doing nice things to yourself, reminding yourself like, hey, I love you. I'm proud of you. I appreciate you. You know, thank you for showing up. Thank you for doing the work. So I really feel like you guys are, you know, choosing to dedicate a lot of time to yourself, a lot of energy to yourself, which is beautiful. We also have this strength energy, which is really powerful as well. Just reminding you that, you know, with your strength, with your bravery, with your courage, with your faith, you can do anything. You can achieve anything. You literally have no limits. But we have this ace of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you guys definitely have, you know, something that could still be making you doubt yourself a little bit or something that's making you um, a little hesitant to move forward. We have delusion. This says intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion so you guys have all of the intention in the world all the purpose in the world all the focus in the world like you guys are really dedicated really focused you have that mindset of getting what you want you know what you need to do to get it um you, some of you guys can be really really organized you know the intention is there but without surrender we are delusional so what does this mean um if you say God, I'm ready to meet the person of my dreams. I'm ready to get married. I want to be who I'm going to have a family with, children with. I'm ready, God. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm dating with attention. You're dating with attention. You're doing all of the work. You meet somebody with red flags and you miss all of the red flags because you think they're supposed to be who you're supposed to be with because you don't want to surrender them. You don't want to surrender control. You don't want to have to waste three months of your life or three years of your life even. Um, so you stay in that situation. And you keep saying, well, I was dating with intention and I was praying and this is who I met. So what's the problem? And it's like you have not surrendered the control. You have not surrendered the control yet. Yes, you've prayed. Yes, you've been met with a situation that has followed up your prayers. But are you in control of the situation? Do you feel like you're in control of the situation? Have you surrendered control? Or are you making it work no matter what? Or are you kind of allowing yourself to go through the situation in any space when you're manifesting things in love, career, family, health, wellness, spiritual ability, you're going to be met with obstacles. You're going to be met with things that will grow you, change you, prepare you, and teach you about the space that you're stepping into. You are very, very, very rarely going to manifest something on the same day, you know, or step into it on the same day, unless you've been doing the work and you're already ready for it. But a lot of times asking for something is really the first step into making the the path to preparing yourself for it and preparing yourself to be ready to accept it so um i feel like you guys have definitely been doing a lot of manifesting work and you've been really using a lot of intention but you don't want to give it the control you don't want to release the energy of i have to manifest this thing and then you know not pay attention to it or not feel like i have to force everything to fit into this manifestation because while you're manifesting you still want to keep your boundaries you still want to keep your standards you still want to be mindful of what you need you know you don't want to manifest and then the first thing that comes in your life you're like oh thank you jesus and you just accept it like it's your manifestation you don't want to do that you want to manifest but also you know be mindful of what you're trying to manifest something comes into your life think about your intention go down that list like is it this is it this is it this is it this you know am i ready for my manifestation what do i need to do to prepare for my manifestation that i can do or how can this show me about my manifestation how can this prepare me and i know about this firsthand because i had to deal with this in relationships you know i definitely was ready to connect with my life partner, I definitely was ready to meet whoever I was supposed to meet because, I mean, please, I was so done with dating. And also, I'm so comfortable being alone. I definitely would have been very comfortable being single for the rest of my life. I have cats. I would have been good. But I was like, you know, if I'm going to be with somebody, I want it to be who I'm going to be with. And I feel like you guys feel the same. If I'm going to invest in this career, if I'm going to, you know, step into this, I want this to last me. 
but you can't immediately get what you need to last you until you've done the work until you've done the work now it might take you five months instead of five years to get what you want if you're making good decisions and you're learning from it and you're doing the work and you're locked in because from the time i said okay i'm ready to meet my life partner i maybe had maybe like six months maybe six months yeah about six months until you know i connected with them and in that six months I had a bunch of different relationships where one, I learned about trust. One, I learned about intimacy. One, I learned about affection. One, I learned about communication. All of the things that I had no experience in, all of the things that I did not know how to do, I had to learn those things before I connected with who I was supposed to connect with. Each of those people were decent people. If I would have stayed with any of those people, forcing it to work, like, oh, they have this one thing. They don't have nothing else, but they have this one thing that I need, so I'm gonna stay here. I wouldn't have been in this space. I wouldn't have been able to connect with my life partner when I did. So you have to understand that, yes, I've asked for this. But when I get the first thing that comes my way, let me not forget what I've been asking for. Let me not, you know, just accept this immediately and feel like this is exactly what I'm supposed to be into. Let me observe this. Let me learn from this. Let me see if this is really what I've manifested or if this is a building block to prepare me for my manifestation. So you guys definitely need to release that surrender. Um, I feel like there are definitely some building blocks that you're stepping through, some not so fun situations. Do not let yourself get caught up in a situation that you're not supposed to be in um, because you feel like it's the answer to your manifestation. Okay, that I said all that to say this. Do not allow yourself to be caught up in a situation that you're not supposed to be in because you feel like it's a representation of your manifestation. It could be a part of what you're stepping into to manifest. But whenever you are manifesting, the first step is preparation. So keep that in mind. We have feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. And we also have bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. So I feel like you guys definitely have some, you know, money on the way. You definitely have a new bag that you're about to step into. But with this feather energy, some of you guys, maybe I needed to talk about relationship because maybe half of y'all is money and half of y'all is love. Um, but, you know, someone you know is undependable and insincere. I feel like, you know, some of you guys could definitely have someone in your life um, that just is not, you know, who they say they are. They are not who they appear to be. Um, maybe you guys have even realized this, like, you know, like, hey, I can't trust this person. Or maybe you're feeling like you can't trust people. Um, but it's really important to be mindful of what everything in life is supposed to show you, um, what everything in life is supposed to represent. Nothing is ever to punish you, even when you do something bad and you're getting your karma back. It's not to punish you, per se. It's just the loss of the universe. You know, God never... You know, I don't really think God ever punishes us. I think we do bad things and sometimes we are in spaces where that shit comes back around, but that's not necessarily a punishment because it's an even it's an even exchange for what we've done. It's an even exchange for what we need. Um now I there are certain stories, you know, about people being punished in the Bible and stuff like that. Um, so maybe we are punished, you know, to a certain degree, but I don't feel like, you know, God is out to punish any of us or to make life harder for any of us. Um, and I feel like sometimes when we are put in spaces where things don't align, instead of feeling like we're being punished or feeling like we need to move on, sometimes we just feel like, hey, I was given this, so it is what it is. Um, instead of allowing ourselves to remember our intention and remember that, you know, we asked for something that you know is supposed to sustain us for the rest of our lives with this nine of pentacles energy y'all want something that's going to be there y'all want something that's going to provide a foundation for you to be comfortable for a long time you know this isn't just a one-off manifestation you guys are trying to bring something into your life that's going to be there for a while so i feel like in that i feel like it's kind of easy especially when you've been working on yourself to just be ready to step into the first thing that comes your way but beware of tests there's going to be a lot of tests that you guys are going to step into. Um, I think this new job or this raise is, you know, I don't think this is necessarily a test, the new job or the raise. Um, but I feel like you guys have been tested a lot already. Um, and I feel like the quicker you submit to the testing, the quicker you just allow yourself to be tested and to go through certain things, the quicker you'll be able to step into what God really has for you. You know, this stuff is not happening to punish you. It's not happening because God don't like you. It's not happening because, you know, karma is coming back. And of course, we all did with karmic situations but this is bigger than that you know this is about you guys um you know being open to surrender being open to release um and you know just being open to move forward and i feel like you guys definitely have a bag on the way which is really really beautiful 
So yes, group two, my selenite group, I definitely feel like stepping into some spaces of mental clarity is going to be good for you guys. Again, whenever you're manifesting, remember your intention. Remember what you want to bring into your life and why. You know, that's definitely going to be, you know, keeping you grounded and just keeping you moving forward and keeping you responding to the lessons in a different way. Don't feel like the first situation you step into or the second or third situation you step into is the end all be all. You know, everything is setting you up for different things. Like when you get your manifestation, it's going to set you up to manifest other things in your life and step into other chapters. So we're always moving forward no matter what. Um, so trust that and, you know, allow life to, you know, to do the work. So yes, group two, that is what I have for you guys. Um, if this reading resonated with you and you picked group two, let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys check out the description box to see um, where you can book readings with me, mentorships, all of that good stuff. Also head over to the community tab. There's a lot of great things on the community tab for you guys to tap into as well. Um, I appreciate y'all. I thank you guys for being here and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless. All right, group three, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So this is my amethyst group. We know amethyst is great for mental protection. Amethyst is great for just providing you um, with the mental stamina that you need to connect with your intuition, you know, understand what your visions are telling you, what your dreams are telling you, um, what the angel number means. And amethyst is literally, you know, a super popular crystal. I would say amethyst is definitely one of the most popular crystals. Um, everybody loves a little bit of amethyst. So this is the amethyst group. Let's go ahead and get into y'all's cards, group three. So we have the five of cups. What are you running from? We have the six of wands. I was thinking about the six of wands. And we also have the seven of wands as well. Five of cups, six of wands, seven of wands. So guys, with this five of cups, you know, with this grief, with this sadness, I feel like you guys are definitely, um, you know, having to release some things, having to let some things go. So just, you know, be open to it. I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, going through the motions of, you know, going through a lesson and having to use your lesson in life in real time, which is great. You know, that can always be something hard to do or always something a little stressful to do because we go through so much frustration, pain, stress, um, anxiety whenever we're learning these lessons or we're getting our feelings hurt or we're seeing things for what they really are. It can be really painful. So when you step into a new space, you kind of are instantly triggered because you're like, oh my God, I don't want the same thing to happen again. But you have to use the things that trigger you to help you in the next space. And that can be kind of a a, a very interesting, you know, dance to dance. It can be an interesting, you know, step to have to step into. Like, let's say, for example, you know you're allergic to something and one of these things in the room is what you're allergic to, but you have to try everything to figure out what you're allergic to. You're going to be super anxious until you figure out what that thing is. And I feel like that's definitely like the kind of turning point that you guys are in, in your journey of standing up for yourself, speaking your truth, throat chakra work, um, expression, communication, setting boundaries, protecting yourself and standing alone if it means that you're going to be safe you know standing alone if it means that you're going to be okay and with the six of wands energy you know the six of wands talks about reaching the finish line you know going over what you've accomplished and being excited about it you know doing good work and getting the benefit of all of the hard work that you've been doing so i feel like you guys have definitely really been working on yourself i feel like you guys have really been committed to the journey so just keep moving forward i feel like you guys have definitely kind of addressed um some of the things that you have been running from i feel like y'all have definitely um challenged yourself to go through the grief go through the heartbreak go through the loss which is really powerful but now you're in a space where you can kind of use what you've learned in that space to move forward so don't run from things that trigger you don't run from things that bring up old energies be mindful of that stuff if something reminds you of something from the past it's supposed to you might need to rethink something or rejournal or re-release something um you know just be mindful of that stuff as you're moving forward we also have unicorn this says use your intuition to make beneficial changes use your intuition to make beneficial changes and we also have arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So don't run from your intuition either. I feel like you guys might, you know, your intuition might tell you that somebody ain't for you and you might stick around until you realize it's not for you. You ain't got to keep doing that. You know, you don't have to keep doing that. If you try to, you know, maybe apply for a job and you're reading the stuff on the, on the application and you're like, mm, I don't know about this, but let me apply anyway because it's the amount of money I want. Why apply? If you meet somebody and within a few minutes of meeting them, they say something or do something, you're like, um, we don't think the same. We don't live the same. We don't operate the same. Don't force yourself to be in or around any type of situation if you've already gotten a little intuitive tingle that it's not for you. You know, you really want to trust your intuition. And I feel like this Five of Cups energy, um, I feel like you guys really had to trust your intuition 
and you didn't want to, but it was the only option. You know, you trusted your intuition on survival, and that is not the same thing as trusting your intuition on a day-to-day -day basis. Most people will trust their intuition out of survival because it's either trust your intuition or flop. You know, it's either trust your intuition or end up in, you know, the same situation over and over and over again. Eventually, you have to listen to the part of you that says, get out, leave, do something different, try something new. Even if you've been doing it for so long, eventually your intuition takes up your entire thoughts. And every day, all the time, you have in your mind, this isn't for you. You need to leave. You need to leave. Everything you see is showing you. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. Need to leave. And until you leave, it's going to literally be in your head 24-7. Most people always say, oh, I know I should have left. I should have been left. I saw eight months ago. I saw a year ago. So hindsight is always 2020, and the first step is leaving. The first step is moving away from friends, love, situation, emotional spaces that do not serve you. Also, if you guys wanted certain connections, you are going to be able to step into them after you let certain stuff go. But you had to let that stuff go first. You had to relinquish those things first. You have to move on from that first. Um, we also have sanctity for you guys that says through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. I love this sanctity card um, because this card just reminds me that even the things that we think are small or abysmal in our life, you know, God can really use those things to elevate you, to teach you, to show you, to sharpen your skills, to put you in a new space, to give you what you need. You know, we feel like certain things are so small and they don't matter. But it all matters because God put it in your life for a reason. And if you let God use it how he wants to use it, he is going to set it up for something great, something that maybe you didn't even expect, something that maybe you didn't even think you were ready for. You know, so don't ever feel like something is too small or it's too insignificant to pray about or to try to heal it or try to work on. It's all important. It's all significant. It's all there for a reason. And I feel like whenever you make everything about yourself matter, you matter more to yourself. And you can really see yourself how you need to see yourself and understand yourself on a different level. And I think that's really, really important for all of us to do. I think it's important for all of us to think that we're always important. We're always valid. We're always valuable. Even if it feels like we're, you know, just dealing with these, you know, little things and we just, we feel like maybe we're not worthy of the hands-on care that we require, that we deserve. Um, but you are worthy of it. And you want to definitely challenge yourself to, um, pour into yourself and I feel like you guys are definitely on that journey which is really really beautiful and again the unicorn energy use your intuition to make beneficial changes trust your intuition right now trust it right now trust it every day trust it forever your intuition is not steering you wrong your intuition is really 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 setting you up for success um so trust that know that believe that have faith in that um and I feel like you guys you know like I said you trusted your intuition on our survival now it's time to trust your intuition out of leisure when it comes to carrying an umbrella or not carrying an umbrella, wearing the heels or not wearing the heels, eating before you leave or not eating, going to the party or not going, answering this person's call or not answering. You know, you're, yes, trust your intuition on a grand scheme, but you know, you also build your intuition when you trust it for everyday things. Think of your intuition as like a relationship with a friend. You build a relationship with a friend when you trust them for big things, but also when you just hit them up every day, say, hey, how you doing? What's going on? You seen that movie? What you want to do this? weekend you seen this you seen this have you heard about you know the new collab coming out have you listened to this song you know like making small talk just embracing the energy that your intuition is there enjoying the simple things with your intuition is really really key um so don't feel like you have to do it on your own now don't feel like you shouldn't be asking your intuition or i feel like some of you guys have cards or oracle cards or you know certain things that you do to get answers from god like maybe you journal or you sit outside and you meditate in the sun or you know you go to church or different things that you do where you know if i do this i'm going to get all kinds of messages don't feel like you have to be at the end of your rope to do that pull some cards for yourself pray get on your knees go to your prayer closet take a spiritual bath don't ever feel like you have to wait till it's so 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 bad before you ask god for help you are not bothering god god wants you to say hey help me show me teach me lead me and you've done that before and yes maybe you've done it when you've been at the end of your rope but you can do it whenever however so don't run from realizing that you need god all the time you know, don't run from constantly asking for messages. You know, if you will allow it to, 
If you allow it to, your intuition can lead you every single day. It can lead you through every obstacle, through every change. Sometimes your intuition will put you in a situation that you don't want to be in and you'll only be there for 30 days and maybe it'll go out of your life in a really hectic way and you're like, what the fuck, but my intuition led me here. There was something that you needed to get there. Your intuition is a little part of God's wisdom that is within you, that resides within you. So sometimes your intuition is going to tell you things that don't make sense. Just like sometimes God says, hey, this is not your friend when you like no god this has been my friend for years what you mean and then you end up seeing that that ain't your friend and then you end up seeing that that ain't your friend you know so your intuition sometimes will allude to something and it doesn't make sense but then you listen to it and let, after the fact you're like okay i'm glad i listened to my intuition because i needed to because it led me to a b c and d so really challenge yourself to see yourself in a different light i feel like you guys have come really really far which is great um continue to you know trust your intuition trust yourself and, you know, continue to protect yourself and don't run from having a very close knit um, spiritual connection to the energies that are supporting you every single day. Don't run from, you know, making this a very, very, very big part of your lifestyle. Yes, we have to have a balance between spirituality and practicality, but I feel like you guys are kind of being asked to open up more spiritual means. If you aren't used to praying for everything and manifesting everything, you're used to going out and getting it for yourself, that is cool, that is fine. But, you know, try a little more prayer, try a little more journaling, try a little more meditation. And I feel like the space you're in right now is really, 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 really going to benefit you. Um, and again, don't feel like you have to do it at all on your own because you don't. Um, so yes, group three. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys for being here. Let me know if this resonated with you down below in the comment section. If you guys want to book sessions with me or connect with me, check out all of the links in the description box. Um, but yes, I love y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this pick a card and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bless.